Hello, I am Mal, and welcome back to XCOM 2. All right, so I've got uh, Mad Dog, Ided, Izanagi, and Bear ready to go take on uh, Operation Bleeding Mask. Let's take one last look here what they've got equipment-wise. I think we're going to go ahead and carry Flashbang here on Ided. I like to use, uh, or I like to carry, excuse me, Flashbangs on my Rangers in particular, because usually they're kind of forward of the group. Uh, doing kind of the scouting role, um, and so I like to have flashbangs on them just in case I run into a situation where I'm like, oh man, this is going to be ugly, and decide that I want quick access to the ability to debuff the aliens. All right, I think we're ready. Yeah, all right, so we've got to hack the workstation in Advent Facility. Our reward will be Dr. Dot Matrix, an engineer. Oh, that'll come in handy. Engineers are pretty darn important, so that's good. I'm glad we got this quick, quick, easy, hopefully, mission. One last look. Two rookies on this mission? Yeah, I think so. It's good to try to get them promoted up quickly. All right, well, let's see if we can't smash more alien faces. Sky Squad green to deploy. All right. We're seeking every possible outlet to gain information on the aliens' latest project. And in this case, that means infiltrating one of their facilities to access an exposed terminal connected to their network. Hostile forces will be in position to defend the site, so we'll have to neutralize any threats to lock down the area. Recover whatever you can. We need that data if we're going to stop their project. Menace 1-5, this is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. Well, I don't know that it's just ahead, Central. <laughs> Alright, so we start off in concealment on this mission, as you can see. We've got eight turns to get to it. Um, you know, I that was one of the, the other things that I looked at was uh, uh, a turn mod. Um, timer mod. And I decided against it, as I've gotten more comfortable with yeah, XCOM 2, point. not only during the first campaign that I shared uh, with you guys, but also I've been playing by myself Moving. and making lots of mistakes, but learning at the same time. Moving to designated position. I, I've come to find out that, you know, it's not the, the turn timer thing's not that bad. Matter of fact, I do like the fact that it sort of keeps you on your toes. Rolling. Okay, post up Got here. Eyes on oh, squad. eyes on hostiles. I think, uh, instead of trying to get past them and go to the objective, I think what we'll do is we'll just set up, get really aggressive, and kill this first group, and then move, move forward. Position confirmed. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna waste time. On my way. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna waste time trying to get up to the network, and then hack it, and then come back, because we're gonna have to eliminate all hostiles anyway, so. We'll just fight our way there. This is not bad at all. Let's see. We want to use explosives? I mean, we could. Never really a bad opening to do that. Okay, is everyone... Does everyone have eyeballs on these guys? Yeah, they do. Okay, well then, let's just Overwatch. Overwatch. The more Overwatch. Scanning. Okay, and then... Izanagi can open it up. Heads down. All right, and you guys scatter, and hopefully get killed. Oh, yeah, I think your dry cleaning's done too. There we go. Nice. Awesome, we already got a promotion. Good deal. Guess we were far enough away that we didn't grab another group. Yeah, that's I'm good. But we can't assume that we won't. Yeah, there we go. That's what I thought. Although they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion, their genetics. Can you destroy cover for both of them? DNA. No. They are stronger than hmm. ever. All right. With an even greater psionic potential. Tired of waiting around. 
Mm, use explosives? Yeah, I'm tempted to. Or we could flashbang him. I mean, it's a little bit of a waste because the sectoid hasn't used any psi ability yet, and when they do, it puts it on cooldown, but... This would also prevent him from using any psi abilities. And the objective is where? In there? Uh... Alright, go ahead and flashbang him. Okay, and let's go ahead and light him up. Get ready for a surprise. There we go. And then let's see. Move, Move up. To Overwatch. Overwatch. Why didn't I just go ahead and shoot the sectoid after blowing up its cover? Because it's still at half cover, and it'll likely... Yeah, there we go. Likely you're it's just going to shoot. Fire. We can move forward this turn. I didn't Bank think they both shoot, here. being disoriented. Hmm. Alright. Alright, we got full cover okay, point I'm here, out. so let's move over here. Let's go ahead and take that shot. Nice, good shooting. Confirmed. Bombs away. Drop another grenade. The big again, the biggest thing I mentioned this in the first episode. The biggest thing that explosives give you. Um, that shooting doesn't is guaranteed damage because when you have lower rank soldiers you just can't always you can't you can't rely on it so it becomes problematic okay so let's move up dance to hit 50% okay and then we need an insurance policy that's gonna come courtesy of bear okay let's double check Yep, okay, so we have an insurance policy, so we can go ahead and take this 50% shot, because why not? And we got it, so we don't have to use explosives on him. Need to get a closer look. Oh, loot. Okay. Let's move a little closer then. We got three turns to pick that up, and we definitely want to. Located. Okay, Wolfric will grab Commander, that. We have confirmation of the exposed access point. Valerium core? Nice. Got it. Would have preferred a weapon mod at this stage, but that's okay. Now, we don't have a specialist with us. If we did, we could send the specialist gremlin in to hack that, but because we don't, we're gonna have to get there ourselves. Ten which four. is fine. I think... I think the immediate area is clear. Not a hundred percent sure on that, but I think that's the case. Good copy. Moving right, on let's move up just a little bit. Go ahead and reload. It's killing time. Okay, on the move. move up. Doing just fine on time, so I'm not too worried about that. I guess that'll be okay. Got some advent here. Ah, okay. More advent. <laughs> hmm. Forty five percent chance to hit, huh? 49. I'll, I'll take that shot. 
Nice! Good shooting, Wolfric. He may be an older guy, but he can still get it done. I say that because... I'm trusting you here. Wolfric has been around for quite some time in Let's Plays on my channel. As a matter of fact, if you want to see his sort of story and background, you can look under the Soldier Dossier uh, playlist from the main channel page, and you can actually see Wolfric's detailed history. Yeah, it might be worth a gander if you've never looked at it before. Okay, let's move up. Moving out. Now, I'm kind of betting that the sectoid is actually going to do his, like, res thing. Or he animates a dead. I, I hope that's what he does. Nice shot. You gonna reanimate? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, that's what he's doing. I think? Oh no, Psy Panic. Really? Okay. A little unusual, but alright. Okay, we got two turns left. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have to go in. Will do. Well, that was a bad misclick there. Hope that doesn't completely screw me. He was supposed to end up over here. Now you're doing zombie, right? Yep, okay. We're fine then. So the zombies, unlike in the previous game, uh, they don't necessarily go right for the nearest person. They kind of randomly stagger around. Just kind of an interesting change. Okay, panic removed. Okay, let's see. Drop down right here and get the flank. Need you to make this happen. Come on. There you go. Nice shot. Nice shot. And there goes the zombie. Positive confirmation. Area secured. Time to hack the workstation. Looking for loose data. Okay, so the way hacking works is you'll have whatever the primary objective is, or, or sometimes it'll be listed like this as a guarantee. And then you'll have these other options that you can choose. Now, we only have a 5% chance of doing this because this is not a specialist doing the hack. But there's also no failed effect, so we could even go for a large alloy cache. It really doesn't matter. Probably not going to get it anyway. Nope. Mm -hmm. Pretty close, though. That's cool. I'm in. Status confirmed. Mission oh, accomplished. okay. Mission accomplished. <laughs> All right. High fives. Flawless victory. Like to see that. Like to see that. <laughs> XCOM 2. expecting a fight like that that's that was nice yeah three promotions awesome and we got an alarium core and some more bodies oh what's going on yeah hello commander the council you once knew is no more its membership have all sworn loyalty to the advent administration with one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the resistance from the inside. It was these resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. 
as of now, resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent black site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. Thank you. Thank you. So now we should be able to make contact with new resistance forces. Yep, there we go. Contact resistance in the black site region. Research resistance communications. Fly to the black site region. Make contact. I've okay. Our latest operational objectives, Commander. And we got our first reward. And crew have dealt another serious blow to the okay, so let's take a look today, at impressive work. our now ant farm here a little bit more detail. We can start clearing out space for new facilities, Commander. Okay, so we got an we exposed power cell recruits, here. Though. We'll need them to staff the facilities. Or coil. Built. Coil. There's been plenty of gripes about my flying, but I don't see anybody else stepping up other than the autopilot. Uh, got an empty here. There's room for us to expand our facilities for right. the Avenger, Commander. So, we need more hmm. engineers to clear out space for construction first. We could go ahead and build the Gorilla Tactics School here. We're going to want a workshop probably here, and the reason being is because when you have a workshop, you assign an engineer. You assign an engineer, for every engineer you assign to a workshop, it gives you two gremlins, which function as engineers, but they can only go and work in adjacent uh, tiles. So in other words, if you've got, say, two gremlins available because you've put one engineer in a workshop located here, then they could go, you could send one here, 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 or here. Um, which means we probably want to do, like, resistance communications here. Or maybe even a power relay, so we could put a gremlin there and generate more power. Um, here we're going to want... Black, uh, Gorilla Tactics School. Here we're probably going to want the Advanced Warfare Center. Proving Grounds would go either here or here. Hmm. Well, let's start from... Gorilla Tactics. Oh, work on the new facility right away, Commander. I'll send word when it's up and running. Yeah, we'll start with that. That's we need this because it allows us to retrain the rookies to other classes. So that we can actually pick what we want instead of just, you know, getting whatever we get. Okay, let's see. Alan got promoted. No, no, not customize. Promotion, please. Thank you. So we've got the, you know, the scout tree or the assault tree. They're both good. Uh, don't get me wrong. Um, but uh, I think to start off, I'm going to go ahead and go with um, Phantom because I want someone that I can use sort of as a reliable scout. I'm going to grab that. For Alan, congratulations. Okay, Bear, let's see what you promote into. Specialist. Okay, that works. And then Wolfric. Perfect. Actually promoted into what I wanted. Awesome. That works. Commander, we have a lead on the alien black site, but we'll have to rely on the local resistance to actually get us into the facility. We should try to make contact with their forces in the region as soon as possible. It's the only way we're going to find out what's behind this so-called Avatar project. All right, let's finish up this abandoned colony. You know what? Actually, I need to change research real quick. We need resistance comms. Yep. Hello, Commander. We'll change well research. Underway, but it will be some time yet. There we I go. Research. To resistance communications. Commander, we've already dedicated considerable resources toward the current research project. However, 
We can move on to something else if you'd prefer. I can see why you would consider redirecting our efforts, Commander. We'll get to work on the new project right away. Okay. Oh, we got Humanoid, we got Wilson, we got Berserker. Okay, nice. New recruits. Excellent. Now, see if we can't get that scientist, because that would help a lot. scattered in cities throughout the globe who are willing to share their knowledge of advance operations the aliens are oh vip rescue them. huh it will be reward would be dr martin <laughs> so this is ed from the the uh, long war 2 campaign uh his son is in the game too uh as edward uh but i don't know what the deal is i, I, I <laughs> he always shows up uh, so, I don't know, it must be the way I've got him flagged in the character profile, but I don't, I don't know. In any case, uh, the story was uh, that he went missing in action, actually, at the end of, essentially, the Long War Season 2, uh, which is also on the channel. So, there's actually a um, soldier dossier for him as well, so if you want to know about his story, you can go to the main channel page, click on soldier dossiers, and then look for uh, Edekre, and that would be Ed's story about what happened to him. Uh, I think the Soldier Dossiers are cool as a way for us as a community to bridge sort of the, the story between XCOM Long War and XCOM 2, and I think I think the stories are pretty cool. And I'm going to continue to make those Soldier Dossiers um, videos as I have time. Setting course for All right, well, we'll go United do this States. mission. Okay, folks. So I will get a team assembled for this, and when we come back in the next one, we will take on Operation Steely Misery. <laughs> Steely Misery. Okay, to rescue a VIP from an Advent vehicle. I hope you join me for that. If you enjoyed this one, please consider hitting that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I am Mal, and I will see you commanders later.